This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. How do you want your 3D object to look? How do you want it to look when you're working with it? Well, there are several different visual styles that come out of the box with AutoCAD, and you can modify them to make them your own. Or you can create your own based on some of these existing visual styles. Visual styles change how your line work or objects are visually displayed, both on the screen and if you were to print them out or render them. When you're working with a 2D drawing, you are actually working in a 3D environment set to a wireframe visual display in the top view. This way you'll see every line. When working in 3D, that might not be a good idea. It might be too much visual data. It might make things confusing. As an example, let's open up the wood pier drawing. This file is a 3D model of a wooden pier out on a beach. Right now we are in the wireframe view style, top view. As we rotate around, you can see a lot of the line work. There's a lot here and it's very busy and hard to see and hard to know what's what. Can you work with this? Well, in some cases it is going to be easier to work with this, but right now we can barely tell what it is. So let's change the visual style to conceptual. And you can do that right here in the view panel on the home tab. These are all of the 12 default out of the box visual styles that come with AutoCAD. 2D wireframe is one of them. A 3D wireframe is another. And there are several versions of each of those. You can go to a 3D hidden, which only shows you what you can see as if it were a 3D object, and it gives you the edges of each object. You have your 3D wireframe and the conceptual. The conceptual is a very commonly used 3D viewing style. It gives a color or the gooch factor to several of your objects, or to all of your objects, really, but it helps you to visualize it a little bit better. So the conceptual style shades the faces of your objects. It'll shade them according to the color that they are assigned, either by layer or by object. So if you want to change the way they look, then change the color of their layer. Now this is just one of the different views that we have. We also have a hidden view, a shaded view, the shaded with the edges, and this is a good one for printing out your 3D objects. Shades of gray gives you a monochrome look at it. The sketchy, which makes it look like it's a hand drawing with all the line overhangs, and this can give you a very cool or interesting look for your drawings. More wireframes and then the x-ray. This one gives you a translucent or transparent shading to the faces of your objects, but it also shows the line work, so you can kind of see through it, but not really. This one can get rather busy, but it gives it another interesting look. One other view I'm going to show you is the realistic view. Now, If you have materials applied to your objects or to the layers, depending on your method, it will show those materials in the realistic view. Now this gives you just a general idea of kind of what it's going to look like once it's fully rendered. But it doesn't have everything applied to it. And the more objects you have like this, the more strain you're going to put on your computer. That's why working in realistic mode honestly is not very realistic. That's sort of a final mode, or you want to give it a quick look to see and make sure that it's okay. Most of the time you're going to want to work in your wireframe, the 3D wireframe, 3D hidden, or the conceptual. These modes require less memory and so your computer can handle them and it will function much better than it can in realistic mode. You can still render all of these if you want with these styles and that's fine. And you know what, it'll give you a quick rendering of what it's going to look like. Now if you want to mess with the visual styles, which you may want to, Go to the View tab on the ribbon in the Visual Styles. You can select from them all right here. You can open up the Visual Styles Manager. This is just another tool palette 
where you can go and apply your different styles. Here you have the different settings. We're not going to go over all of them, but you can change things. You can change the colors, you can change the shadows, you can change the edges. And each one of these settings are pre installed styles just by changing all of your different settings here, like your Gooch style, realistic, or none will change the way it looks. The Gooch is for the shading. See here it's set to realistic. Whenever I click one of these, it's not changing or applying the current style. It's just activating it so that I can go and make changes to it. If I want to apply it, I double click. And then close it out and you're back to work. So these are your visual styles. Change them to the way you want to see your drawing while you're working it. And change it so you can see your drawing when you want to output it. You can apply these visual styles as well to a viewport. Just activate the viewport and change it to the style that you want to see. Whatever it might be. And if you have more than one viewport in your file or in your tab, you can have it be a different type of style while the other one remains. And none of these will have an effect on your model space. So use your visual styles wisely and to suit your needs. Remember the wireframes take less memory and so the computer that you're working with will be able to handle them while you're working much better. But all the shading and especially the realistic views really eat up the memory.